we have this one species planted for miles and it's a all-you-can-eat restaurant for pests. So once a pest learns to unlock the key and get into one kind of plant, and you've got that plant planted for miles around, it can open every single plant, okay? And so that's how pest epidemics get going, so then we add pesticides. And those chemicals deplete the life of the soil. They take away the structure of the soil. They take away the water of the soil. They take away the very organisms that make for soil fertility. Essentially, insects and plants are so like us physiologically, uh, you know, cell to cell, gene to gene, protein to protein, that if it's going to kill plants and if it's going to kill insects, it's going to kill us too. What this system produces is food empty of nutrients but loaded with toxics. We weren't designed to eat that kind of diet. Industrial farming practices have robbed the soil of its nutrients and created a huge demand for nitrogen fertilizer. When we pump those nitrogen fertilizers into the soil, we're not just killing the life of the soil. This is mobile nitrogen. Only about 20% is taken up by the plant. Some of it goes to the water tables, and the rest goes into rivers. In the American Midwest, the excess nitrogen flows into streams, down the Mississippi River and into the Gulf of Mexico. The nitrogen then feeds giant blooms of algae that suffocate nearly all marine life, creating a massive dead zone where only jellyfish can thrive. This mobile nitrogen also combines with oxygen to form nitrous oxide, which floats up to the atmosphere, accelerating climate change. 